This is the conversion of a Polaroid Smith and Lights Retro Deco Camera Lamp. My latest creation on the camera lamp front is an amalgam from three inventors from the 19th and 20th centuries. James H. Smith, the inventor of Victor Flash Powder, Ernest Lights of Leica fame, and Edwin Herbert Land, the inventor of the Polaroid camera. Here I have taken one of Lights' lesser known products, the Synchron Blitzer pocket flash gun, sold as part of the Leica M3 kit, circa 1950s. I've put this together with a Polaroid 80A land camera from around 1954. Both items were found on the US eBay site. I bought the flash with the notion of producing a press style camera lamp using a, an old folding camera as the base. When the flash arrived the bulb holder was missing. The 80A was to be one of my collection of land cameras which I started earlier this year. However, as the collection grew, mutterings from my better half persuaded me to listen to protestations about moving out and the cameras moving in. Following on from the conversion of two 800s, one last year and one this year, and a 700 this year, which are rare by the way, I decided to blend a Synchron Blitzer to the 80A. The only modification I had to make to the 80A was to drill a couple of holes to take the Terry clips holding on the Synchron Blitzer. I stripped the Synchron Blitzer of its internal Bakelite battery holder and bulb contacts and fitted a ceramic G4 LED bulb holder which can take a capsule, flood or infrared remote control colour change lamp making it extremely versatile as a lamp. I also fitted a panel mount DC socket charger power jack to match the AC DC 240 volt to 12 volt LED driver adapter acquired from China which happens to have matching sockets. To complete the ensemble I acquired a period Victor tripod originally made by a company known today as Smith Victor which was born in the late 1800s when James H. Smith just mustered out of the Union Army after serving three years with the Army of the Potomac took an interest in the art of photography. After a brief apprenticeship to a photographer in Illinois he bought a half interest in a photo studio and within the year the other half. Over the next 12 to 13 years James had prospered as a professional photographer. His products became widely known and he became an industry leader serving as secretary of the Photographic Merchants Association. This top of the range version in black and chrome with Bakelite fittings comes with a pan and tilt head which allows the user to mount the lamp assembly at either floor or tabletop height and at various angles. The firm Ernest Lights in Wetzlar, Germany began as an optical institute under the direction of Karl Kellner in 1849. In 1855 Kellner died from tuberculosis at the age of 29. The institute survived under the leadership of Frederick Behittel, an apprentice of Kellner's who married his widow. In 1863 Ernest Lights joined the institute and by 1865 was a full partner. Upon the death of Behittel, Lights became the sole owner of the now renamed company E. Lights Wetzler. Lights continued to manufacture quality microscopes and telescopes. In 1907 the production of binoculars began. By 1914 Lights was one of the leading microscope manufacturers in the world. At about this time an employee at Lights, Oscar Barnack, began experimenting for his own use on a pocket sized camera.
Barnack was not a robust physical specimen and could not carry around the large plate cameras of the day and as the manager of the development department at Lights had the wherewithal to develop a camera based on the 35 cinefilm then available. By doubling the size of the cine window to a 24 by 36 negative the modern era of 35 millimeter photography began. Another Lights employee Max Berek was instrumental in developing a lens for this camera. An f3.5 by 50 mm lens was produced as the optimum focal lens for the 24 by 36 format. Edwin Herbert Land is best known as the founder and inventor of the Polaroid camera and film and as the co-founder of the Polaroid Corporation. He quoted, don't undertake a project unless it is manifestly important and nearly impossible. Scientist and inventor Edwin Land was born on May 7th 1909 in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Land attended Harvard University briefly before establishing his own laboratory to study light polarization. The lab became the Polaroid Corporation in 1937 and publicly introduced its groundbreaking instant camera and self-developing film in 1947. Land died in Cambridge, Massachusetts on March 1, 1991. Hopefully Edwin would have approved of my upcycle version of his now redundant invention. Yesterday, disaster struck. While assembling the camera to the tripod, the quarter UNF set screw broke. When I bought the tripod from the UK eBay site, the locking assembly was seized. I managed to free it and hoped all was well. Obviously, it wasn't. After scouring the internet, I ordered a replacement pin and lock nut assembly. It doesn't match the original, but hopefully I can fettle it. The day was a double disaster. After an initial trial of the Chinese LED driver, it failed also, and was reduced to outputting one volt only. I had bought two from the same source, so I dug out the other one and tried it. 
same result, failed after 30 seconds. I was now in a mess as the whole design was based on an outside LED transformer. Then I remembered the 800 I had converted a few weeks ago. That was fitted with a small onboard LED driver. So after checking the dimensions, it seemed it would fit inside the flash handle. I ordered four from a UK eBay source as I planned to convert the remaining two Polaroid 800s and a 95A. These final three would use the Multiblitz Reporter 2, which I had previously acquired eight in an eBay multi-buy. Buy one, get seven free. Aha. Uh -huh. These had plenty of room in the handle to fit the LED transformers, but were a little more complicated to dismantle. <laughs>